Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Shallow down here in Cape Coral, Florida. I am trying a spot I haven't tried in a while, a uh, redneck ramp uh, around the corner from our soon to be currently old house. Uh, I hadn't been here in a while. Last time I was here, the water was real high and I couldn't use the ramp because the water was clear up here. Now, I would have had to put half my uh, truck in. So there's a lot going on in life. Uh, we're in the process of purchasing our first home. And uh, so I'll be kind of moving around and you know how the packing is and stuff like that. But we're gonna do a little catch them and count them today and uh, see how we do. Get back with you soon. Hopefully I can get a couple on camera while they're being caught. Have a good morning. See you in a bit. There we go. First one on the top water. Little guy. Little crap and spit. Not bad. A little switch up from the top water. I'll hook my white flukes. For my zoom flukes period just like that good morning feller how you doing today First one in the morning. Definitely a three pounder. That mouth on that. Ugh. Told y'all man, white zoom flukes. Good morning. Number one. Number two. Already, right after I just caught that last one. All right, let's keep it going. What kind of morning I like to have, back to back. Number two, little guy. Another little guy. Oh. There we go. Number three. Be still, open your goddamn old mouth. Another little guy, that'll work. In here, put your brothers and sisters. There we go, another one, little guy. Still fun to catch. Number four. Caught him slipping. Let's put him in the live well. White zoom flute. Man, I keep this up. I'm going to have a 30 fish day. Ooh. Uh, he whacked it too.
gonna move to another lake here shortly, but god dang, these fish are active as heck today. Let's see if we can get one out the deep water. Just a little deeper. I mean, I'm only fishing three to five feet, and I'll tell you what, never tried it, but something about having a little Lawrence or fish finder on the front of your boat is awesome. Uh, I've got the transducer, which for those that you don't know, basically tells you the depth of the water in you and where the fish are, or the size of the fish, and relates it to the screen, which is pretty much sonar. But anyway, uh, man, never thought I'd enjoy having it so much. I mean, it's actually helped me step my game up pretty good. If I can zoom in there, you can see the little dot going across. That's the fish. Tells me the depth that they are. And with this little guy, tells me the size of a fish. Or kind of relates to it. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. But we'll give this lake here a couple more casts. I've got a, another lake that's a little larger that I want to try. Hope everybody's going to have a safe weekend. Don't go to jail. Don't die. Well, we're going to get moving here. See you shortly. Uh, there we go. And another one. I think that's number five. Not bad. Number six. White fluke again. Not bad. Little guy, but probably a pound. All right. After catching two in that lake, it's about 9.22 Eastern. I've got six in the live well. Uh, decided to move to a little canal over here. I've got two stretches I want to fish with you guys before I call it an early day. Since I'm doing so good. So... Let's see what happens on this stretch here. Sometimes you gotta talk to the fish. Hello? Is anybody home? I love casting by storm drains. Ugh. Ugh. Missed him. Somebody was home. Now for another cast. Yeah, we won't fish this whole stretch. I never really do too much, but I'll hit all this grass over here. See if we can make it happen. And I'm definitely 
not trying to get caught like I did last weekend with my pants down. The storm blowing in. Unfortunately, I have no bridges on this chain of lakes right here to take cover under. So we definitely got some stuff rolling in, boiling. That's Florida for you. And this last little stretch here in front of the boat ramp, I call this my Bombell stretch. And it is Bombell. See if we can get some action. This usually dictates on how my mornings end when I come over here. But I usually hit all this grass all the way down on both sides. It's like no, maybe one seawall on this whole stretch on down there. Uh, he just spinning crazy. That's why I call this my bumbell stretch. Number seven, about a half pound. Come on, give me my damn hook. I mean, count it. It's always a good morning when you can blow through a bag of plastics Let's see if we can keep it going before we call it a morning well, sometimes you miss them There we go. There we go. There we go. There you guys go. Uh, 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 stay. There she went. <laughs> It landed in a boat, it counted. That yeah, was fine. Man, if I wouldn't have had my <laughs> phone camera on my chest, probably would have reached down, but I didn't want to risk that. We've been using this. Oh, 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 it's not over yet. It's fluke all day. And burnt through a pack. I think I'm gonna try a little uh, wacky rig on the way back to the ramp. But man, like I said, if I wouldn't have had this phone, it happens. Hey, it touched the boat. It counts. But I like fishing this stagnant stuff. It's where a lot of crap blows back into these little corners here. If I was gonna fillet and eat that one, yeah, I'd have been really upset, but whatever. It happens. And that was probably easily four pounds. Definitely the biggest one of the day. But I've heard stories of 12 pounders being caught in this chain of canals right here. Sometimes you'll get lucky and they'll hit again.
All right, we're gonna finish off the old wacky rig. Let's see how we do on the way back to the ramp. Wacky rig to the res rescue. This would be number nine. You gonna jump off too, like your mama? If you gonna do it, you gonna do it already. The little guy decided he want to hang out. I guess didn't want to do what his mama did. Let's count it. I switched to pretty much a straight worm with a uh, chartreuse tail little weed guard, a wacky hook, a rubber band. What I like about this wacky rig style is this, the fish usually inhale it. Most part, for the most part, it's usually my go-to bait. I'm not ninning really deep water. The fish aren't being pressured today. So I'm really not using any Texas rig, not many hard baits. You've seen me use that topwater popper earlier. But I tell you what, when you're in this five to six feet water down here in Florida, this part of Florida, Cape Coral, there's really not a lot of deep water lakes and canals i think the deepest water i've found probably 13 feet and that's after a good rain i mean you have some canals that are consistent of you know average depth six feet but usually just a good old wacky rig and a fluke weightless pretty much my go-to in this shallow water there we go right there see just like that a little weight on you not bad number 10 Remember, we're also counting that one that hit the boat. All right, this is how I rig this up. Basically, I got my little tool. This hand unscrews, put your rubber bands on there. Slide your rubber band down. Put your worm about halfway in the tube. Doop. Rubber band pops on there. Take your hook, pop it through, just like that. Set the weed guard in the inside of the hook. I think I bought that kit on Amazon for like $7.99 with a box of uh, rubber bands. Hooks, I get these on Amazon also. I love the weed guard, I don't like the straight hooks because I can pretty much throw in anything. And I pretty much, I cast it out there right on the edges or whatever brush bounce it to where it kind of floats like a butterfly it's really slow I let it fall we'll hit this grass over here and we'll see what happens I'm kind of get it as close as I can I'm using a stiffer ride something with these wacky rigs you want to use a good solid rod so you can get a good hook set. Like I 
said I just kind of hit the grass. And you see how I just went in that grass and popped it back out? That's why I like those wheat guard hooks. Just kind of bounce it. Let it sink. And I'm using a worm with the chartreuse tail because the water is murky and you're fishing murky water. You want to use something that's going to stand out a little bit. You know, like they say, you're fishing at night. You want to use black worm for some reason. Fish seem to see 10 times better than humans. All right, we had 10 total today. Got that one that got away this morning, this afternoon. So, start reaching in and pulling them out. We'll catch and release if they ever decide they want to calm down. There's one. Two, three, four, if I can get my hands in his mouth, four. Number six. Number seven. Number seven is the smallest. Number eight. Bye-bye. Number nine, plus the four-pounder that decided she wanted to release herself. Thank you all for joining me for this fishing trip. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.